If I'm not in the mood, I must be mad at my husband. And then you look for all the reasons you're mad. That's always a bad idea. As soon as you look for them, you'll find them. Okay, just don't do that. <laughs> but we start expecting that maybe I just don't like sex or, or maybe I don't like my husband. It may not be that at all. It might just be hormones. We all joke about women and hormones and how hormones affect us, but I'm not sure how many of us really understand the effect that hormones have on a woman's libido. So let's just look at this. If you take day one of a woman's cycle as being the first day of her period, and then you go to ovulation, which is about between day 11 and 14 for most women, our hormone levels after our period leading up to ovulation, they work in such a way that our libidos are gonna go up and up and up until they're at their peak right at ovulation. I call that the green zone. That's when women tend to be more frisky, more willing to try new things, more adventurous, all that kind of thing. But then something happens right at ovulation. Your body says, okay, we're done, and your hormone levels drop, and she just kind of loses it completely. She's just really not in the mood. So I call that our red zone. It doesn't mean that she can't have sex or she can't enjoy sex. It just means you need a lot more warming up. You need a lot more kissing. You need a lot more hugging. She needs to feel a lot more cherished. She's not just going to spontaneously want sex in the same way. Then something funny happens the week before her period. The hormones do some funny things so that your libido start to goes up, but at the same time, you're really ticked off at your husband. So I call that kind of your orange zone where you might be in the mood, but you're kind of prickly at the same time. So he just kind of has to tread carefully. <laughs> so that's what your what woman's hormones look like over the month. You're going to be green, then red, then orange. So my tips for you, if you're going to plan a big anniversary getaway where you want sex to be a big component of it, plan it in the green zone, not the red zone. <laughs> or if you're still getting used to sex and she hasn't quite figured out what all the fuss is about and you really want to help her experience orgasm, do that during the green zone because it's going to be a little bit more difficult in the red zone. So what do you do in the red zone? Hug a lot, kiss a lot, touch her a lot, do things slower, you don't need to be as adventurous, just let her feel cherished. What many people don't realize though, is that when you're on the birth control pill, it's entirely red zone because you take off those hormonal fluctuations and she, her libido's not really going to be that high ever. It doesn't mean she can't enjoy sex. But it does mean that if she is feeling like she never has a libido and she's on the pill, it may be worth talking to the doctor about something else because it could be that there's nothing wrong with the marriage. It's just that the pill is affecting her in a negative way. The other thing that gets rid of those fluctuations is menopause. When we stop ovulating, you become all red zone. So what do you do in those red zones? I think that's when we need to learn that sex is more than just intercourse. It's what comes before and after too. And sometimes when we don't understand that, we can think that if I'm not in the mood, I must be mad at my husband. And then you look for all the reasons you're mad. That's always a bad idea. As soon as you look for them, you'll find them. Okay, just don't do that. <laughs> but we start expecting that maybe I just don't like sex or, or maybe I don't like my husband may not be that at all. It might just be hormones. God created you with a body and our bodies affect our sex lives. So before you start thinking really, really negative things about your marriage or sex, just ask yourself, could this just be hormones? And then figure out how can I make my hormones work for me rather than against our marriage?